Then you get the spirit buff because your damage is going to be based off your spirit. Now the debatable pull point was right here. Um, you got 2% increased max mana pool, which is pretty strong. Don't get me wrong. It's... Um, it's like 120 mana, which is that much. It's not going to be a very good thing. What's the new build? Yeah, yeah, so I went with Gene Parmesan's build with a little bit of a switch to it. Uh, we both agreed it might give me a little bit more damage. Uh, the one thing I switched as well was the was the threat talent. I ended up taking the threat talent, even though I don't like to. I think it's a waste of five points, but um, I was getting aggro just from healing and just from DPSing. Uh, so if I don't get aggro, then I can save a global cooldown by not pressing fade, uh, which should in theory increase my DPS more, right? Because one less global. And these are non-DPS um, talent options. So what we did, just to give a quick new recap on the new build. I have the spirit buffs on the third sheet of the deck. Okay, oh, I didn't see there were multiple tabs. That's my fault. Uh, so Unbreakable Well over once. This is going to be more applicable in more situ situations. And this is, well, um, threat. Oh, I love theory crafting, dude. Uh, if you're just playing the stock standard cookie cutter build, dude, it's like, what's the point? You know, have some fun with it. Absolutely, I highly encourage you guys to do so. Like I know, um, Lion D or Baxter, he he did nothing close to the recommended spec, and uh, I th I think what we did in terms of leveling was much faster because we didn't go what they recommended. Uh, Cargos, at least we made deviations from the path. Uh, so sorry, inner focus, a uh, bunch bunch of mana talents right here, and one more mana talent. And then you get the spirit buff because your damage is going to be based off your spirit. Now the debatable pull point was right here. Um, you got 2% increased max mana pool, which is pretty strong. Don't get me wrong. It's, um, it's like 120 mana, which is that much. It's, it's all right. It's not really, it's not going to make or break anything, but 1% damage and crit, that'll, that'll be like that little extra bit, you know, I'd rather have that than 2% more max mana. So I'm happy with that point. That was what I changed as well as the threat talent. Those are the two things I changed. Here, he put five points in the spell wording. I told him if I was going PvP, I'd take that, because that's really strong. One Try one-handed Fury build for leveling. Yeah, Fury's great, dude. Um, I know there's like a hamstring kite type situation that you want to master, but I'm not familiar with warrior leveling rotation. What did you say? I'm just talking about... Uh, uh, about warrior. Who are you talking about, too? Yeah, that sounds really good, because that is like... Wands entire leveling speed is dependent on their their sorry priest leveling speed is dependent on their wand um, I'm talking a little fishy in chat here, so you get 5% crit like we used to we actually did the same talents um, Except we were able to put two points in here, and then instead of having Four points in here one point in here. We went with the 25% increased By your spirit damage and healing. It's gonna give me more constant uptime higher AP values Ability power, sorry, not attack power. It's going to give me higher ability power, um, so it's a more consistent spec, uh, and in theory, a much higher DPS spec, because I'll always, I'll pretty much always have a good buff on me as opposed to only every three minutes. Um, and I already had the gear for it, so I was very happy to give it a go. We'll see how it does. I've got money to change spec, so I said, why not? <laughs>